Anyway guys, for today's video, pag-aaralan natin ng grade 6 math, quarter 2, module 2. Nasa module 2 na tayo ng grade 6 math. That is solves word problems involving direct, inverse, and partity of proportion. Ang nakaraang lesson natin is pinag-aralan natin kung paano hanapin yung missing term ng proportion. So ngayon naman, ang gagawin natin is kung paano tayo mag-solve ng problem involving direct, inverse, and partitive proportion. Problem 1 tayo, that is for direct proportion. A pupil walked 5 km in 2 hours. In 4 hours, how many km can the pupil reach? Okay, ito yung problem natin. So sa pag-solve ng problem, meron tayo of course, first, understand the problem. Iintindihin natin yung problem. So ano ba yung what is ask? Ano ba yung tinatanong or hinahanap sa problem? Okay, ang hinahanap sa problem is the number of kilometers can the pupil walk in 4 hours. Okay, kasi dito in 4 hours, how many kilometer can the pupil reach? So, ilang kilometer kaya ang maaabot ng pupil sa kanyang paglalakad in 4 hours? Ang step 2 natin, identify the type of proportion. Ano kayang klaseng proportion ito? Okay, base sa given sa ating situation, kung tataas ang oras ng paglalakad ng pupil, tataas din ang number of kilometers na kanyang nalakad. So therefore, ang ating problem is direct proportion. Kasi ang direct proportion, kapag tataas yung isang term, tataas din yung isang term. So ganun siya, direct ang kanilang relation. Kaya, ang sagot natin dito is direct proportion. Okay. So, this is example of, di makita sa baba, direct proportion. Ayan. Third step natin, change the word problem into a number sentence. So, i-change natin ang ating word problem into a number sentence. Base dito sa ating problem, ang pupil kapag nagla naglakad siya ng 5 km, nalalakad niya yon ng 2 hours. So, ibig sabihin, Meron tayo ditong 5 km is to 2 hours is equal to in 4 hours, how many km can the pupil reach? So, in 4 hours daw, ilang km? So, meron tayo ditong 4 hours and then, ang hinahanap natin is kung ilang km. So, yun ang missing term natin. So, ilalagay natin dito as n kasi siya ang missing term. Titingnan nyo ang ating placement ha. So, 5 km is to 2 hours is equal to N is to 4 hours. So, dito, pangalawang term ang sa, ang 2 hours natin. So, dapat sa pangalawa din yung hours natin dito. At ang kilometer is siya yung first, dapat ganito rin sa kabila. So, kung ano yung placement sa kabila, dapat sa kabila same lang din. Step 4 na tayo, solution of the problem. So, solve the unknown distance. So, isolve na natin si N. Kung paano natin siya isolve, meron tayo ditong 5 km is to 2 hours is equal to N is to 4 hours. Kung natatandaan nyo ang ating previous lesson, kung paano mag-solve ng direct proportion, ang gagawin natin is multiply the means and extremes. Okay, so saan ba yung means natin dito? Review tayo ng konte, Ito yung ating means. Itong nasa gitna. And then itong nasa gilid na mga term is ito yung ating extremes. Okay. So, wag niyong kalimutan na itong dalawa sa gitna is means at itong dalawa sa gilid is extremes. And then, itong mga term natin, itong first term, itong una, tinatawag nating first term, second term, third term at fourth term. At ang nasa gitna is means, ang nasa gilid is extreme. So, ang gagawin daw natin, multiply the means and extremes. So, i-multiply natin itong means natin at ang ating extremes. So, ang means natin is ito. So, 2 times n is equal to extremes. Okay, so 5 times 4. So, 2 times n is equal to 2n is equal to 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So, ngayon, para mawala itong 2 natin dito sa kabila, i-divide natin both sides ng 2. Okay? Both sides ha, i-divide natin ng 2. So, 2 divided by 2 cancel. N is equal to 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10. 
So, ang sagot natin is 10. Ibig sabihin, ang ating missing term dito na N is 10. So, ibig sabihin pala, 5 km is to 2 hours is equal to 10 km is to 4 hours. Okay. Nakita nyo sa ating sagot na ang 5 km is to 2 hours Nang tumaas ang kanyang oras sa paglalakad, tumaas din yung kilometer na narating niya So, yan ang tinatawag nating direct proportion Problem number 2 tayo This is inverse proportion Karen can do a job in 4 hours How long can a job be done if her friend Celia will help her with the same speed as Karen do the job? Okay, so meron tayong understand the problem. What is ask? Ano yung tinatanong sa problem natin? The number of hours can the job be done if the friend of Karen will help her do the job? Okay, so si Karen, matatapos niya ang kanyang trabaho ng 4 hours. Kung tutulungan siya ni Celia na pareho sa kanyang speed, ilang oras kaya nila matatapos ang kanilang trabaho? Step 2, identify the type of proportion. Base dito sa ating problem, the number of hours decreases because the number of workers increases. So, ibig sabihin, ang problem natin is inverse proportion. Inverse proportion, ibig sabihin kapag ang isang term ay tumaas, ang isang term naman ay bababa. So, kabaliktaran silang dalawa. So, ngayon, ang sagot natin sa ating number 2 is inverse proportion. So, ang type of proportion natin is inverse proportion. Now, ang step 3 natin, change the word problem into a number sentence. So, si Karen dito, si Karen matatapos niya ng 4 hours. So, that's why Karen is to 4 hours is equal to, kapag tinulungan si Karen ni Celia, so Karen plus Celia is equal to how many hours? So, ito ang hahanapin natin kung ilang oras ni Karen at Celia matatapos ang trabaho. Step 4 na tayo. Solution of the problem. So, si Karen, isa lang siya. So, 1 is to 4 hours is equal to si Karen at si Celia, dalawa sila. So, N is missing term natin. So, 2 is to N. Okay, so ito na yung given natin. 1 is to 4 hours is equal to 2 is to N. So, ngayon, paano natin siya isolve? So, sa pag-solve ng inverse proportion, ang gagawin natin is exchange the second term and fourth term. Saan ba ang second term at fourth term natin? So, alam natin na ito ang ating first term, second term, third term, at fourth term. So, ibig sabihin daw, i-exchange natin itong second at fourth natin. So, kapag i-exchange natin siya, so 1 is to 4, hours is equal to 2 is to n. So, kung ito yung second at fourth natin, i-exchange natin silang dalawa. So, magiging 1 is to n is equal to 2 is to 4. Ayan. So, ito na yung bagong um, sentence natin. 1 is to n is equal to 2 is to 4 kasi pinagpalit natin ng second term at fourth term natin. Now, pagkatapos natin siyang pagpalitin, ang gagawin natin is multiply the means and extremes. So, i-multiply natin ang means and extremes. So, ang means natin is itong nasa gitna. Again, at ang extremes is itong nasa gilid. So, ito yung means natin at ito yung extremes. So, ngayon, i-multiply na natin ang ating means at extremes. So, that is n times 2, ito yung means natin, is equal to 1 times 4. Okay, so n times 2 equals 1 times 4. So, n times 2 equals 2n is equal to 1 times 4 equals 4. So, 2n is equal to 4. I-divide natin 2 ng, ang both sides. So, 2n na lang yung naiwan. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So, ang missing term natin is 2. So, ibig sabihin kung si, si, si Karen makatatapos siya ng 4 hours sa kanyang trabaho, Kapag tinulungan siya ni Celia, so dalawa na sila, matatapos, ni, matatapos nila ng dalawang oras ang trabaho. Kaya ang sagot natin is 1 is to 4 is equal to 2 is to 2.
Okay, so nakita nyo sa ating proportion na kapag isa lang siya, mataas na oras niya matatapos ang trabaho. Pero kapag naging dalawa sila, naging maliit din yung oras or naging konti din yung oras ng kanilang trabaho. So, tinatawag natin itong inverse proportion kasi ang worker natin is tumaas. So, dumagdag tayo ng worker pero ang number of hours natin is bumaba. Kaya ang isang term tumaas, ang isang term bumaba. Kaya inverse sila, magkabaliktad silang dalawa. Ngayon, punta tayo sa ating problem 3. So, that is partitive proportion. The ratio between the sides of a triangle is 3 is to 4 is to 5. If the perimeter of a triangle is 156 centimeter, what is the length of each side? Okay, so first step, understand the problem. What is asked? Okay, so ang ratio daw ng isang triangle sa kanyang sides sa size ng kanyang side is 3 is to 4 is to 5. At ang kanyang perimeter is 156 centimeter. So, gaano kaya kahaba ang sides ng triangles? Okay, so what is asked? The length of the sides of the triangle. So, ang hinahanap natin is kung gaano kataas or kahaba ang sides ng triangle. So, ngayon i-identify natin ang type of proportion dito. So, base sa ating problem, ang sides ng triangle is divided into parts that are proportional to the, gave, to the given, sorry, to the given ratio. This type of proportion is partitive proportion kasi meron silang parte-parte. So, ito ay example ng partitive proportion. So, ang problem natin is partitive proportion. Step 3, change the word problem into a number sentence. So, i-change natin siya into a number sentence. So, 3 is to 4 is to 5 is equal to 156 centimeter. Ibig sabihin, ang tatlong sides ng triangle is kapag i-total mo sila, ang kanilang perimeter is 156 centimeter. Now, sa, sa step 4 na tayo, solution of the problem. Paano natin isolve ang ating problem? Add the ratios. So, i-add na natin ang ratios ng side ng ating triangle. So, ang ratio ng side ng ating triangle is 3 is to 4 is to 5. So, dahil hindi natin alam kung gaano kahaba ang sides ng triangle, maglalagay tayo ng N. Kasi ito yung missing term natin. Kasi hindi natin alam kung gaano kahaba yung sides, ba? So, ilalagay natin 3N plus 4N plus 5N is equal to 156 centimeter. So, isolve natin ang sides ng triangle. So, 3N plus 4N plus 5N is equal to 156 centimeter. So, i-add natin ang sides ng triangle or ang ratio ng triangle. So, 3 plus 4 equals 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Tapos, kopyahin natin si N. So, 12N is equal to 156. So, i-divide natin both sides ng 12 para si N na lang yung maiwan. Okay, so 12 divided by 12 cancel. N is equal to 156 divided by 12. Okay, so 156 divided by 12, 15 divided by 12 equals 1. 1 times 12 equals 12, subtract. 5 minus 2 equals 3, bring down 6. 36 divided by 12 is equal to 3. 3 times 2 equals 6, and 3 times 1 equals 3, subtract. 36 minus 36 equals 0. So, ibig sabihin, ang value ng ating N is 13 centimeter. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, ang N natin is 13 cm. So, meron na tayong value ng N. Ngayon, isolve na natin ang length ng sides ng triangle. So, ang side A ng triangle is 3N. So, si 3N, si 3, i-multiply natin sa value ng N na 13. So, times 13 is equal to 39. Okay, so 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 1 equals 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang side A natin is 39 centimeter. Si side B naman, 4N. So, si 4, i-multiply natin sa value ng N na 13 is equal to, so 4 times 13 is equal to 52 centimeter. At si side C naman, 5N. So, 5 multiplied by the value of N. 13 is equal to, so 5 times 13 is equal to 
65 centimeter. So, ibig sabihin, ang, ang length ng side A is 39 centimeter, ang length ng side B is 52 centimeter, at ang length ng side C is 65 centimeter. Kasi ang triangle, tatlong sides lang yan, di ba? So, 39, 52, and 65. So, ngayon, malalaman natin kung tama ba itong ating mga sagot. Itotal natin siya kung magiging 156 ba siya. Okay. Oops, ayun. 9 plus 2 equals 11, plus 5 equals 16. Bring down 6, carry 1. 1 plus 3 equals 4, plus 5 equals 9, plus 5, oh, sorry, plus 6 is equal to 15. So, 156 centimeters. So, ibig sabihin, tama ang ating sagot. O, oh, ba napakadali lang mag-solve ng word problems involving direct, inverse, and partitive proportion. Basta alam mo lang yung process. That's all for today's video guys. Sana may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson for today. See you on our next lesson. Bye!